Good morning, all. Now here's our homemade stepper motor tester. And in the first part of part one of this uh, video, we ran a stepper motor and we talked about the circuit. I had my drawings for this circuit. In this video, part two, we're going to look at the output waveforms of phase A, phase B, phase C, and phase D. Just powered up the circuit. We can see our motor running. Let's go the other way. Let's get close to this oscilloscope here and we'll look at the waveforms. This top waveform is phase A. This bottom waveform is phase C. And you can see, let me spread that time out a little bit. Just a little bit. You can see that the waveforms are 90 degrees apart. So here's the leading edge of phase A. And here's the leading edge of phase C. And you can see that phase C starts when phase A has reached 90 degrees. Now when we're running clockwise, phase A leads phase C. Let's go the other way. Now we're going counterclockwise and you can see that phase C leads phase A. What does that remind you of? It looks like an encoder waveform, doesn't it? Let's go clockwise. Here we go, counterclockwise. I'm going to move the probe on phase C to phase B. And we'll see what that looks like. Let me stop the motor. And now, channel 2 is on phase B. Now look at this. Phase A and phase B are 180 degrees apart. So when phase A is high, phase B is low. Well now, let's take a look at phase B and phase D. Turn the power supplies off. Okay, now channel 1 is on phase B and channel 2 is on phase D. We're running counterclockwise. We can see that phase D leads phase B by 90 degrees. Let's go clockwise. We can see that phase B leads phase D by 90 degrees. Now, if we were to look, let's go ahead and do it. If we were to look at phase C and phase D, we would see that they're 180 degrees apart, just like phase A and phase B were. Okay, I'm going to move channel 1 to phase C. Let me get clipped on there. There we go. And now, phase C and phase D 
or 180 degrees apart. So when phase C is on, phase D is off, is low. We have a high up here and a low down here. And the opposite over here. When phase C is low, phase D is high. Exactly like phases A and B. Let's go back to phase B. Get on there. There we go. Clockwise? Counterclockwise. Clockwise? Counterclockwise. All right, all, there you go. Go back and look at the first video to see how you can build your own stepper motor tester. It's fascinating. <laughs> A lot of fun to build. Have a good day, all. We'll see you next time.